guys welcome back to the another new lecture in this lecture I am going to um, develop this website so this is the website actually it will be multiple pages website and multiple uh, multiple OCOMARS theme development course uh, lectures and this series will be actually big extremely beginner to advanced level student and any any student take this course and uh, this is the very very important and i hope and i believe that you will learn something more thing more uh, from this course so i hope uh, stay tuned to i've got camp so thank you guys so firstly i'll just uh, develop this firstly design this website then develop this okay guys so hopefully you will better understand in this example so uh, firstly you have to install this wordpress locally so so you have to go to google and simply type here wordpress.org after that you have to go to google and simply type here jam installation jam download after that you have to go to google and simply type here sublime or any code editor so i am going to using this uh, bs code so just i'll type here bs code downloaded so this is the requirement for this code uh, for this code so okay guys so hopefully you'll better understand in this example so i'm going to download this uh, wordpress website then you will show that this is the better understanding for just i'm going to uh, I'll show to you how to develop this website okay guys so hopefully you'll we'll just download this and why not to download start it okay Okay, after that get uh, the uh, WordPress website then didn't uh, want to download started then you will just uh, click this here download link and after that will show that this is another new tab like the download installation so that's why you can just download this link then it will be started automatically um, this here so you'll show that download section in the here okay guys so i hope you'll better understand in this example so after that we'll show that hey, this is the gem installation so already installed it already download this uh, wordpress website wordpress uh, in my locally local store after that you'll just install this gem installation so i have already downloaded this so i did i don't download this so if so um, apache so uh, i'll just click this and you'll show that this is the download vs code visual code studio visual studio code that means you'll show that here is the three device available so um, wordpress uh, windows and dev and mac uh, other so you said so others uh, windows operating system so uh, guys i uh, sometimes i'll uh, um i'm being to uh, write that uh, anything wrong and you'll show uh, you'll hear to me voyage in the anything wrong so don't hesitate to do my speaking uh, hopefully you'll uh, understand the starting a code the bs code then you don't understand then tell me okay guys so because the i'm beginner and uh, now i'm learner and uh, you know that better very well i'm a student of the computer science for that uh, now i'm learning the psp development uh, develop developing and after that react and vue.js so i'm a basically expert on the vue.js and uh, psp uh, so uh, now i'm learning the laravel so um, i i believe that uh, you can gain as lot of uh, um, programming and you can export one thing so okay guys so firstly you'll just uh, know that html then css after then js after then react or javascript advanced so react js then Vue js so this is the part of uh, javascript okay this is the framework so Vue js then you can learn PSP or PSP after that Laravel then you will learn uh, WordPress theme development so that is the very very important uh, you can show that this is the very easily uh, you will learn uh, actually uh, when you, you know better well better about PSP then you can uh, move on WordPress theme development okay 
so guys this is the very helpful for you and uh, after that you will when you will learn laravel then it's very helpful for about your i uh, about your knowledge and um, increase this your knowledge and focusing this firstly html then css java jss and react js vue js and uh, php then laravel this is the my requirement and uh, i'm learning this programming knowledge okay guys so i hope and i believe that you will learn more something from this course so already install it uh, in my st uh, downloaded folder and it will show that this is the wordpress and this is the code necessary file so i'll just uh, i'll just extract this file here oh no 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 no, no. yes I don't need to this actually I I'll just extract this file here I'll delete this uh, okay then I'll extract this file guys okay extract files then it will be correctly and you will show that I'll just delete this folder from here this is the wordpress uh, version 0 uh, 6.0.1 then i'll just click this and copy this i'll come back in my local store c drive then uh, in the gem folder then st docs then after that i'll just uh, create this uh, folder lab fancy or fancy lab fancy lab okay then inside of this folder just I will paste it in my copying this files so this running now okay till I just finished so inside of this content then uh, uh, this is the themes file then here is the you will show that here is the three theme available I will just delete this ons and uh, I'll put this actually 2020 theme and I'm going to creating this uh, file like that fancy lab fancy lab so guys actually this is the uh, it will be not eventually lab or anything you can uh, you'll put this anything name in the here I I'll, I'll just uh, stay easily uh, fancy lab then after that I am come back in my necessary code like that screenshot the seven folder then in the here this is the screenshot so inside of this file I'll just paste this screenshot now I'm going to creating this folder like that uh, necessary file so style.css style.css after that I'm going to create in this another necessary important file index.php index.php so this is the three uh, file is very important for the theme development okay guys so hopefully you'll better understand this the so now I'm going to creating this uh, install this database I'm creating this database and to install this WordPress in the locally oh now I'll start the gem server and click this start so guys you will show that hopefully it run in this here then PSP my admin so now ignore this file ignore this file so I'm going to creating this new database it will be fancy lab fancy lab okay guys so hopefully you will better understand and very much well uh, this is the very easy so this is the database so we are, uh, I'll just copy this database and hopefully install this localhost then fancy lab so you'll show that our 
WordPress installed in the successfully this folder okay fancy lab then fancy lab okay just continue this and let's go this the data is name you have to create this username okay guys username it will be wrote by default data is name will be fancy lab password I don't need to this password and sub just submit this and successfully install this um, WordPress then uh, run this installation so now you will just create a uh, website name fancy lab okay after that username I just I'm going to using this my name and using uh, in the here you will use this strong password so I'm going to using this fancy lab zero one two or one two three four this is the very weak so don't worry about this this is my own so you have to using uh, you just, just use this your email or password your email address in the here just create this installation successfully so guys login this so now I'm login this password here fancy lab one two three okay so successfully we are in install this or uh, wordpress in the local locally so this is the very important so i hope you will successfully install this your wordpress website in your locally so guys hopefully you will better understand in this installation process now i am going to creating this wordpress and by default in the here wordpress then click this themes then you will show that fancy lab um, okay now i'm going to sh i'll show to you this how how this process in this here okay just i'll delete this and i'm i'll come back in my browser then refresh this then you show that here is the nothing to uh, here is the will show that theme will show that actually this is your theme name fancy lab after that style dot uh, style sheet is missing delete this okay just you will delete this okay I'll just install this another theme in the here you will show that this is the very very important uh, hopefully uh, I have completed this process in the before installation so uh, hopefully you will better understand when I will just I uh, am going to show to you ok so this is the our two teams available in the here ok guys so hopefully uh, now I will create this another theme locally in this here add a new theme ok guys so now I'm going to creating this uh, fancy lab in the here fancy lab then you'll show that here is the another theme so style sheet is necessary for every single of theme so now I'm going to creating this style sheet in the here inside of this here st style sheet dot CSS so then I'll come back and refresh this browser index dot you will show that this is the uh, very important and this is the necessary file index dot html so i hope you will better understand in this example already i told you about this now i am creating this another file index dot psp uh, after that here inside of this style.css I'll just uh, okay now I'll open it in the in my BS code so code insider 
I am going to use in this insider for that ok I will just delete this I will open it in my local folder and fancy lab after that of content themes fancy lab ok guys so in the inside of this here I am going to using this code I will delete this another and using this style style sheet warp theme then you will find it easily main style sheet dot warp theme so this is the very very necessary you will just using this all as our developer dot wordpress dot org so this is the very helpful for you after that this is the template um, files and this is the post styles and everything will find it easily in the here just I am going to using this and paste it here simply then I will just delete this and I am using this fancy lab after that URL themes then Mia. ok so author Mia. after that author URL uh, com so i hope you will better understand in this example and hopefully you will when you will start this you are uh, designing your website or develop your, or your what is theme development word website then you will better understand this is the very easy way i'm just using this 0 0.1.0.1 .1 or 1.0.2 okay then requirement 1.0. or 1.5.7 or 5.2 that is the very necessary so I'm going to using this 5.2 after this uh, this is the here you can just using this to test it up to 5.4 and requirement PSP uh, 7.0 that means it's high and, uh, I'm going to using this 5.0 or 6. Point. okay so license this is the everything is okay so successfully we are creating this style sheet uh, style.css after that uh, I'm going to using this in the another file uh, style.css. So hopefully you'll better understand in this example. Now I'm going to using this file and I'll just simply I'll copy this uh, style.css uh, screenshot.png. After that you will better understand. Okay. Then I'm going to refresh in my browser then you will show that what's happened in the here so hopefully you will better understand in this example uh, okay successfully we are installed our th uh, new themes in the here just I'm going to activate this and I'll just delete this another file and folder oh oh, oh this is the very very interesting and you will show that everything is okay and then you will show that this is my own name and this is the my theme so so we are successfully installed our new themes and this the it will be wordpress or commerce theme development course and i hope you enjoy this course so guys hopefully you will better understand how will pro how this process and how will install it this new theme so thank you guys stay tuned uh, i've come and stay well